What's good guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install Blockstrap. Now first thing you're going to do, you're going to go in the link in the description of this video. So as you can see, you'll be brought to this page. So over here what you're going to do, you're going to click over here on Blockstrap V2.8.6. It's the latest version in this time so far. So you're going to click on that and you're going to run this. Now after you're done running, as you can see I've already run this so I don't need to run it. So after you're done it, you're going to click on configure settings. You're going to go to mods and now you can select your mouse cursor. You can bring the old dead sound. You can bring the old dead sound too. So I like the cartoony one and the angular one. So let's use the cartoony one just for this video. No, sorry. Okay. Now over here, let's go to the engine setting. This is where everything happens. You, if you have a low-end PC, one X. If you have a medium PC, two X. And if you have a good PC and you want FPS, you can do an X if you want. Disable player shadows. Turn that on. Disable post processing effects, such as like lightning and stuff. You can turn that on too. I recommend keeping this off. Over here, you're gonna double your hertz. So, for example, mine is a hundred. Put it two hundred. And over here, preferred lighting technology. So you're just gonna do chosen by games. Over here, rendering mode. We're gonna make sure we do it to direct 3D 11. Or you can do 10, but this one runs for me better. Texture quality, you're going to either go for the lowest if you have a low end. Or if you have a medium, let's go level 2. Now over here, disable full screen tilt bar. Now when you like put your mouse up, you'll see a tilt bar. It shows you to cl close Roblox or disable full screen. So I just recommend keeping this off. Font size. You know, preferable for you. Over here in appearances, as you can see, you can do light or dark. I prefer dark. If you guys don't prefer dark, no problem. You can choose the icon. You can, you can do 2008, 2011, you know, whatever you like. Okay, so you can also do a preview of it. That's how it looks like when you open Roblox. You have shortcuts. So, the best thing over here is the fast flag editor. Now, over here, it gives you a warning. You have to know what you're doing. You have to know what you paste in this flag. Okay? Now, I want FPS boost. You're gonna go click on Add New, Import JSON, Control V, and then you can click on OK, click on Yes, click on Yes, and then boom. Now you can go save, close this, and do block strap. Okay. Now after that, you can just click on launch Roblox. It'll be connecting. As you can see, block strap has opened. Now, as you can see, I have the old 2013 cursor. Plus, this will give you the FPS boost. I'm gonna search over here, blank map I think it's easy to say blank so I think so we're gonna try because let's check how much FPS we get so this is my normal avatar okay and let's check how much FPS we get we are getting about 300 average look at that guys this is just too good as you can see you you can put this how much you want I'm getting about 300 average but while moving 270 average as you can see this is this just proves that how good block strap is you guys can see right there I'm not even capping if you guys just press control shift f5 you you'll, you're gonna see your FPS this is the best Roblox third-party software. 
I hope you love this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.